Peace be upon you. In this video, we are going to talk about nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So, let's start with a very straightforward reaction. So here we have para-chloronitrobenzene. We're going to react it with a nucleophile. Let's use hydroxide. Now we're going to need a heat to speed up the reaction. In nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction, the leaving group, the chlorine atom, is going to be replaced with a nucleophile, in this case hydroxide. Now, this reaction works well in the presence of electron withdrawing group, such as NO2 group. In electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, electron withdrawing group deactivate a ring in EAS reaction. But, Electron withdrawing group activate a ring, in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. These electron withdrawing group. They works very well, if present. In ortho position. Or. In para position. They're not very effective in meta position. Now to get the final product of this reaction. All you need to do is simply to replace the chlorine atom with the nucleophile. In this case the hydroxyl group. So, now we have para, nitrophenol, and that's the product.